If you want to know why object oriented programming is natural to us, keep watching this video. Cut apple, banana, papaya to prepare salad. Orange and sweet lime are acidic. Pomegranate juice is good for health. Almond, cashew nuts, raisin are dried so they don't perish for a long time. Tomato, cucumber, brinja, ladyfingers are available at weekly market. Artificial ripening among mango is common. Watermelon grow underwater. Which all words did you hear? Get ready with your answers. If you think you have heard fruit or vegetable, then you are among the majority. So why did it happen? Our human brain understands, memorizes and identifies the world around us by way of logical classification. This relieves the brain from stress of dealing with minute details of each and everything around us by way of abstraction. Abstraction means hiding the details. Such logical abstraction results in creation of entities. The brain can then quickly learn about surrounding and take quick decisions to respond faster by dealing with the things at logical level. Cut apple, banana, papaya to prepare salad. Orange and sweet lime are acidic. Pomegranate juice is good for health. Almond, cashew nuts, raisin are dried so they don't perish for a long time. Tomato, cucumber, brinja, ladyfingers are available at weekly market. Artificial ripening among mango is common. Watermelon grow underwater. An entity has properties and behaviors. Such a logical entity in object-oriented programming is known as a class. Physical bird may differ in terms of actual value of these properties. These are called as objects. The class is defined as blueprint of an object. Object is instantiated in memory. Class provides structure. Multiple objects can be created with the same structure. Assume that there is a marriage in your family and you are coordinating all the activities for first time. How will you go about it? Think about the sequence of activities that you will do. This could be your probable list of activities. Now imagine that you are heading a team of professional event organizers. Will you do the things differently this time? And how is that? If you said you will classify and allocate the responsibilities to different team members, you are taking object-oriented approach. Now tell me, won't you allocate related activities to the same person? For example, Checking availability of a photographer is one activity and booking his time is another activity. It will be good if the same person takes the responsibility of related activities, isn't it? As a manager, all you need to do is ask the venue in charge to book the venue. Internally, this person will have to perform some other activities like checking availability of the venue, making advance payments, etc. But you don't want to get into the details of the same and keep the steps simple like asking the guest in charge to initiate invitation, catering in charge to book caterer, and so on, without getting into the complexity of finer details. This process of hiding the details and focusing on the essentials is known as abstraction. By the way, did you notice that this time we took bottom-up approach? We clipped the related behaviors to create an entity. Let us summarize. We have covered why object-oriented concept is natural to our thought process. We also covered meaning of certain terms like entity, properties, behaviors, class and objects. Also we covered a very important concept in object-oriented programming that is abstraction. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback comments.